We're standing at the junction of Hayes Drive and Commodore Slope Drive here in Carthay Circle. And I chose this junction for our, our background because all the streets in Carthay Circle were named in 1922 after notable 19th century Californians. So Hayes Drive is for Benjamin Hayes. He was a judge. His most famous case was probably the Biddy Mason case in which he ruled in favor of Biddy Mason who had escaped slavery and wanted to legally set down her freedom. 12 years ago in 2010, I was hired as a writer for a freelance project. There was an HBO drama called Treme. So what I was hired to do was to write about New Orleanian things. So I wrote about a lot of New Orleans streets and how they got their names. And I thought, you know, I should do this for Los Angeles. It's kind of a cool idea. And it took about 10 years for me to finally get around to it. But that was the basic inspiration. I started in May 2020, so it was kind of a lockdown project. But I knew it was going to be a lot bigger than just something to work on for a couple months. Every street is interesting in its own way. There are basically two types of street naming conventions. It's either a city ordinance, in which case civil engineers choose the name for a street, and that often happens because there will be duplicate street names. The other style of street name comes from tract owners themselves, and so they often have very personal value to these people. Either they named it after themselves, or a loved one, or their home city, or home state, or home country. If I had to choose one street that had the most history, it would be Pico Boulevard. Pio Pico, of course, was the last Mexican governor of California, so he has that stature. In fact, he and his brother Andres owned essentially the entire San Fernando Valley at some point. They received them as Mexican soldiers. And he sold his half, the southern half of the valley, to a fellow named Isaac Lankershim in order to build his hotel. So Pico House, which was Pico's hotel, still stands outside the old plaza. His street, it started as Pico Street. It was one of the oldest streets in the city. And interestingly, when they started numbering streets in Los Angeles, they went from first, second, third to 12th. And then they stopped at 12th, and then they laid out Pico Street. So Los Angeles never had an unlucky 13th Street. That was obviously intentional. They didn't want to have unlucky 13th, so they chose Pico. I've set up a contact page on LAStreetNames.com. I hope that people will start contacting me with information that I may not have about some random streets that were maybe named for a grandparent or that they just happened to know something about that only a resident would know. One thing that I've been really struggling to find is photographs of the old namesakes from a lot of these streets. And so I'm hoping that when people contact me that there might be somebody who might have some family photos and that they might be able to say, oh, you're looking for so-and-so street. Well, so-and-so was my great-grandmother and here's a photo of her. And that would be just very special because you can't just find these things on the internet that easily.